Hey guys, I ended up making a Discord to grow my community, so if you guys want to join, I have some really cool things planned for the future. What's up y'all? I'm Shady. This video is an introduction video to some very important Valorant concepts you'll need to know if you're trying to climb. My aim for this video is to allow people that are new to the game understand what I'm talking about in my Iron to Immortal series. The link to the series playlist will most likely be down in the description, so if you're interested, it's the perfect counterpart to this video. The two topics I'll be discussing are rotation and map control, two pillars in the game of Valorant. Rotation is one of the most important, if not the most important factor in the game of Valorant. To fully visualize an opponent's reaction to something happening on the map means you've mastered rotation. The next time you or your team finds a pick, you can exploit the opening created by the rotation. On the other end, if you find yourself a man down, rotating is a question of info rather than the amount of teammates guarding the opposite site. The two questions or pieces of information required to make an accurate rotation are 1. Which agents were spotted during your teammate's duel? Uh, in this scenario, we see Jet kill Yoru. What we're looking for is the amount of players we see and if there are any non-global smokers like Brim or initiators like Sova and Breach. If you spot these agents or three players, these are both good indications that they're trying to hit that side of the map and they warrant a rotate. And two, the location of your teammates that could be put out of position with the missing map control caused by you rotating. In this scenario, you lose control of tree and garden, but since Cypher's and cam, he'd be prepared. For an example of someone out of position, we could place him sitting behind bricks. Communicating your rotation is best, but it's possible to judge their positioning to be good enough to not warrant a call out. Lastly, I'd like to mention rotation is extremely scenario based, but for the sake of providing examples, I have live matches in each respective rank. Map control and awareness boils down to the sections of map that are given to each team. The reason map control is important is because each round starts a 5v5, but with every engagement this has a chance to change. Meaning the control each team has on parts of the map changes drastically with maps being designed to exploit these exact situations. Being a man down on defense is significantly worse than on attack because of the missing portion of control. That's why you'll see higher elo teams probe for a chance to even the playing field. The goal of the attackers is to find any aggression from the defenders. This means fighting for control of the orbs and mid. The defenders, however, are given this map control as an extra layer to defend from. This means the attackers have to expend more utility contesting them for it. If it's still a 5v5 after attackers gain this map control, it leaves the defenders vulnerable due to them having nowhere to go with all 5 players potentially exploding onto one site. However, if your team finds the opening pick, then the strategy changes and the new goal should be to use your man advantage to find the weakness in the defender's setup, caused by a rotation from the opening pick. Boom. Scout here.